Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today we have another gun, a block gun from the company Carda from their D-Tech series, the police assault rifle. 617 pieces, model number is C81006W, age is 8 plus. The back of the box, which shows us some functions how to load it and the gun bracket and the gear shifting and flexible adjustment of the gun stock and so on and so on. Okay, I bought a set here in Germany via Amazon. I make you a link in the description. If you're here from Europe, you can buy that from Amazon Germany. If you're from the States or another country, not outside Europe, I don't know how, how, how high the customs are and Perhaps it's better you order it from AliExpress if you want it. I don't know. Okay, let's see what's inside. That's inside the box. Seven bags of pieces and parts, mostly black. One bag with three rubber bands. And instruction booklet. It's a typical instruction booklet from Carda. The old steps are gray. The new pieces are colored. It's a little bit small from size here, but I should have no problems. I have problems with all my old Carta instructions. So, okay, I start to build and show you some progress. So far I am. A lot of Technic panels and a lot of pins, a lot of lift arms. Here is the technique with the rubber band. It's nice. It's cool to build, no problem. The quality overall from Carda of all these parts and pieces is absolutely great. It's on Lego niveau. Sometimes the power, the clutching power of the pins is a little bit higher than from Lego, but really extremely good. What I don't like about this set is the blue Technic pins overall. They look uh, you don't see it here on the photos, but when we finished we have a lot of blue Technic pins in this black rifle and that don't look cool. I make you or now open in the box above is a link to two reviews from us from the company winner, Formula One car and the dinosaur. And the cool thing about these two sets from Winner or all the Winner Technic sets is they use black three long pins and they use black pin axle pins. So you have a much cleaner look with, yeah, don't see the blue, it's much more elegant. I hope other companies will do this too because it looks much better than this here. Okay, so the first part is finished here. And this just works fine with the rubber band. It's had, it has no weight, but it's so massive. From the construction here, you can slay somebody to death with this. You don't need to shoot him, you can slay him to death with this. And here are new parts. Must be the middle part of the gun, I don't know. We will see. So far, everything fine. Yeah, there's the finished barrel. Here is the middle part with a magazine and trigger. So it looks from outside. And that's the the in part with where the mechanics are working. Here there's a shock absorber in there. Nicely, no problems. Building faster than I thought. I expected three hours. Now I'm an hour on and I'm half finished. So that's that's nice. So far we are. Here is the trigger mechanism. It works perfectly and fine. It's a lot of space in there. It weights nothing. It's very stable, but it weights nothing. And this part here. I don't know if it comes here, I believe. We will see. So far, 
it's, it's, it's really fun to build. I, I had no fun with the, with, the, with the Desert Eagle from Carter, but this here makes really fun. I know it's a weapon. Nobody should have fun with weapons, but I'm honest, it makes fun to build it. So we have the final size of this thing, and it's really huge and long. I hope everything will work fine from the mechanism inside. We have a few parts left, but I believe I can accomplish this in a half an hour. We will see. Here I built the magazine and I had to change here. The barrel was in the wrong direction, so I flipped it. Here the magazine flips in there. Ah, with one hand, no. This is adjustable, you can slide it in, slide it out, how the length you need for your size. That's cool. Oh, it's done, the police rifle. The Uzi or MP5 or what it should be, I don't know, I don't care. So we have a lot of pins over, the sticker will be attached. And I thought it will shoot um, spring-loaded shooter, the long ones, like the pistol. But it will shoot rubber bands, but not these rubber bands come with the set, because they are inside for the mechanism. They are not wide enough, because you hang it in there and adjust it here at the gear. And when you push the trigger, the gear moves and the rubber band slingshots away. That was a building Kardar's police assault rifle. And we we'll see you soon in the review. And here, after two hours assembling, it's finished. Kardar's police assault rifle, yeah, it's an MP5. It should be an MP5. And what should I say? It's a gun, yeah, a gun from a children's toy. I don't know if it's okay. It's your decision. That's my last gun. I've bought two, the Desert Eagle and this. I will not more, I will not more build any or review any guns. I was just curious and I want to show you. But I have to say, or I have to admit, the building makes a lot of fun, really. And the only bad thing I can say about this are the blue Technic pins, because this would much, uh, would look so cooler with black Technic pins overall, but yes, the most are copying Lego and so we have the blue pins. Watch our winner reviews of the Formula 1 car and the dinosaur. Now there's a pop-up box in the corner. They use black Technic pins and that's great, absolutely great. Okay, overall it's 68 centimeters. Perhaps I don't haven't seen an MP5 in real or had one in my hand, but I can imagine it's nearly the size of the original. It's totally light. It weighs weighs nearly nothing, but it's totally stable, and you could use this for self-defense. Really, you can use this for self-defense. If someone attacks you, just hit him with this thing. It's really stable, <laughs> absolutely stable. He will have bad headaches. The attacker. Here we have the mechanism. It's no real mechanism. Yeah, it's just a rubber band for the loading mechanism. Here on this axle you put a rubber band in and get it till here. Then you fire and then the zack. Then the ah so zack. Ah! Always. No video without... He makes no video without any terror. So... Okay. I preferred this in red instead of yellow or a silencer. That would be cool too. I love this. This is a, a engine block from Technic to look through. Yes, and overall it was a really fun build. It looks cool. It's a weapon, I know, but it looks cool. 
it's your decision if you want to buy something like that or not. For me it was the last one, but I really enjoyed the build. The amazing quality of Carta, I told you 20 times. If you don't like it, just buy for the parts. If you want a lot of black Technic parts, you get here really, really great parts for a small price and can use them for other project cars, cranes, I don't know. <laughs> it's your decision. Okay, I want to, just want to show you what is possible with Lego Technic. And this is possible easily, makes a lot of fun. When you buy this, you get eight of the blue black Technic frames and a lot of other stuff. No, ten, oh, I don't know, many, many Technic frames and panels and yes. Okay, it was a short review to Carda's Police Assault Rival, aka MP5, 617 pieces. Model number is C81006. It says, the instructions says it. The box says something under, something else. On the box there is a W behind the 6. Okay, here are the two stickers. I haven't applied it but because I think two minutes about it and I said it will look stupid on an MP5 to have these stickers. Okay, this was the short build and review video. I am Frank, have a good time. If you liked it, give us a thumb up or consider to subscribe our channel. Watch the videos in the end card, have a good time. Bye-bye.